So look, bro. Another reaction video. Um, before I get into this, I want to tell y'all uh, Monday, or well, today is Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday, the podcast will officially be up. We got 85,000 subscribers, something I've been preaching on last week, and y'all got me there. Well, we ain't got 85,000 yet. We like at 84 something, but that's good enough. You know what I'm saying? 84, 85, tomato, tomato, whatever the case. Get to the podcast. This is how it's finna go, bro. I don't know if I'm going to get the join uh, button on YouTube or I'm going to upload on the Twitch. I mean, not Twitch, but Patreon. Those two sites are the only way you're going to be able to, like, get the merge, get the money, get your bills paid, and really, really rock out to where we can have the phone calls on the podcast and all that. Other than that, on the podcast channel, I'm going to upload probably four or five clips from the podcast, and then, of course, it's going to be on Spotify and just like my other podcast, where they at on uh, Spotify, Apple, and all that others. Um, this video right here. They said this video could save your life. That's the reason old boy sent it to me. And he was like, bro, the, the, the video say save your life, but I don't think it kind of go with the title because they was doing something different. Almost was like, what you mean? Then I forgot. We don't pre-watch nothing. You know what I'm saying? We don't pre-watch nothing. So I'm finna get straight into this video, and I got two lighters, so y'all, I'm not finna get up. I'm not finna get up and run to the kitchen or no type of shit like that. And I promise y'all to, ah, promise y'all today on my kids about the fifty dollars. I forgot two videos. Matter of fact, seventy dollars today. <laughs> I am capping. We finna do the fifty dollars, bro. Congratulations to the winner. Other than that, we finna get straight into this video. Podcast, we finna have the biggest thing on YouTube, just in the world, bro. Watch what I tell you. Watch what I tell you. We never know how we are going to react to a scary situation until the day comes. Hopefully, the day we will comes. never have to find out. Number ten. Scary situations, bro. This is why they always tell you. This is why I always tell people like you should be up in the gym. It's ways you could train yourself in life. To where if something majorly happens, you know how to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? And what I mean by is um, going to a certain place by yourself. A lot of people feel like they need their homies or their girls so they can feel comfortable. It's not the case. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and do your push-ups at night. Do your push-ups in the morning. Work on your car. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? You get what I'm trying to say, bro? Because with real-life situations... You don't practice for those, bro. And it be at the split second, like a blink of an eye. I promise you. So if you about to get jumped and you ain't prepare yourself for it before, talking about slap boxing with homies, having, you know what I'm saying, your whole life, as soon as you get that situation, bro, they ain't even got to knock you out. You're going to be so spooked. you about to get jumped. You're just going to pass out. They ain't even got to hit you. You be <laughs> you're like, well, bro, we ain't even do nothing yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being real. Real life situations you can't prepare yourself for. Delbert Latham and his son are on a roller coaster with nowhere to go when his son's restraints fail and he falls all the way to the floorboards. Yo! Listen and you'll hear him say my seatbelt in a scared voice. I got you. It's not, hey, you're fine, I promise, okay? That's a loss. squeezes his child. But that's what I'm saying, bro. Instincts. Just when you get your, they don't have a roller coaster at home. They didn't practice just in case you fall under the seat on a roller coaster. What are we gonna do next? None of that. Little buddy is composed for real. Cause any other kid, ah, ah, I ain't got no seatbelt. Daddy already know what's up. He not. Oh my god. Oh my god. Real quick, son. I got you. No trip. We finna pull you right back up. In this situation, look, life helped him in this situation, right? This situation right there, right here, gonna help them in other situations, bro. I'm telling you, don't run from nothing, don't back down from nothing. Don't be scared of nothing. And the reason why a lot of people are scared of stuff, because they be scared to get hurt, they're scared to die. That'd be the main two reasons. But in life, bro, as a man, I'm talking to the men right now. If you ain't ever been hurt, then you not a real man to me. I'm being real. If you over the age of 21 and you've never been hurt before, heartbroken, beat up, first car took, 
Mama not messing with you no more. Your homies talking about you behind your back. If you ain't never had that, you what you doing out here, bro? You fragile. You're not gonna make it till you see 30. I promise you. Waste and now you ain't gonna make it till you see 30, bro. Keeping his son from flying off. He is squeezing as tight as he can and manages to keep his grip for the last major fall. I got you. While filming. While he filming. That's for the lawsuit. Hey, you're fine. I think most parents would be flipping out, and I'm amazed how calm Delbert remains the entire time, especially considering how bad this could have gone. If right. the description for this video is to be believed, then the operator was aware of the faulty seatbelt and was letting people on board anyway, meaning his son was not the only one to experience this terrifying ride. Number ride. 9. A YouTuber in Louisiana named Barris Bash tries to stay positive as his entire neighborhood fills with water. With That's the thing about the South, bro. That's why I will not move there. I love visiting because they got some of the best females in the world. Like, everybody know LA got the best ones. Man, you come to LA, everybody plastic. I promise you that. But up in the South, they cornbread thick. They, they love it out there. But anyway, is this Katrina? This is the reason I will not live out there, bro. And that water is green, green, green. <laughs> like his shirt green. With everyone's Nasty. still trapped inside. What starts as some water in his backyard soon enters the home and becomes a total crisis. The YouTuber has the right attitude by not panicking. He puts on a brave face as he makes a video to help relieve the stress. At the same time, I can't help but notice the TV is still on. It's pretty high off the ground, but I think they should have shut off all power because any charge could electrify the very water that they're standing in. Right. Yeah. Get the water around your house. Not that bad. Yeah. Eventually, when the water gets too high, they escape via canoe and row to dry land. If the family didn't have this canoe, hey, how can this video save our life, though? The title of this video say, "These videos can save your life." That's the title of the video, but y'all know how I be renaming stuff. I don't, I don't, I don't, this, it was just a bad situation. What did they do that can save our life? And I know you're not talking about the little boat, canoe, road thing, because that's obvious. That statement, man, we going to ride, we a ride up, up this, uh -huh. that don't even make no sense right there, bro. You or one of their neighbors, number eight, a YouTuber named The J Mortz is enjoying the Swiss Alps until a massive snowfall traps him alive. Now it's Yo. up to Daniel O'Sullivan and his small crew to locate and dig him out before he runs out of air or freezes. Which if that thing wasn't sticking out at the top, they probably wouldn't have found, bro. I understand the thrill of things, bungee jumping, skydiving, but when you think about it, bro, I know this little ski whatever is fun, but I just look at it for what it is. I'm not finna get on two sticks and slide down no ice. I'm cool. <laughs> what am I getting out of this? Is it gonna make me run faster? What is it? And here on YouTube, I understand that you could probably get the views where people die from this, bro. If I'm risking my life, that's me not risking my life. Meaning, they just started shooting somewhere. You know what I'm saying? I'm driving and my car just went off the cliff types. That's the only way I'm risking my life. I'm not finna do nothing. And I know I can't lose my life. Like, man, it's going to be fun, but if I mess up, I'm going to die. They be up there, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, you can go skydiving, ghost. They, they, it's, the, it's the parachute. Then they got a backup parachute. But then what if the backup don't work? No, the first one went out. That means the second one can go out. What the first one doing going out? It ain't no way for him to get on a plane and say, here, bro, go ahead and bungee jump. But if that don't work, you can use this one. I'm good. What you mean if this don't work, I can use the I'm <laughs> Some people panic so much, bro. As soon as that first one don't work, they gonna forget they had a second one. They just fall and screaming. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm not the one. <laughs> Y'all can leave that to the homies. Timothy, Bradshaw, 
and uh and, 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 Whichever and comes Kyle. first. Cuz I'm not Daniel doing rips it, bro. off his gloves so he can put together his digging tools more quickly. After all, getting frostbite in a few fingers is nothing compared to saving an actual life. Bro, it's deep. You don't see anything for a while until James sticks a pole out of the snow and waves it around to draw their attention. This shaves hours off of their search and is ultimately what saves his life with the J Mort located. This video can save your life. Not what they did, how I'm looking at it from the title in this situation. This video can save your life by just not going skiing, bro. <laughs> Straight up. That wouldn't have happened if you didn't want to show your subscribers that you can hang 10. And I don't even know if that got something to do. Oh, that's surfing. Or that, or that skating, rollerblades. Anyway, bro, you lucky. You almost died for some views. Daniel doesn't waste a single moment going to work on the freezing snow with only a shovel and his bare hands. What else are you supposed to use? By the end of it, Daniel's hands are too frozen to even take his helmet off, but his friend is alive, and that's all that really matters. Kudos for such a well done rescue. Number 7. A clerk is ringing up a customer in Japan when the lights go out and the ground begins to shake. The customer freezes in place and doesn't know what to do but the brave clerk drags her around the counter by the hand. Just as the worst of it comes, without looking, the heroic cashier pushes the customer's head under the counter to protect against the falling bottles breaking all around them. I understand what she's trying to do, you know what I'm saying? And that was, that was good, you go to heaven for that. But she wasn't even gonna get hit, bro, because if you look by the counter, none of them fell right there. I understand you looking down, the falling bottles but... breaking all around them. And again, how can this video save our life? How we know that's supposed to happen? It looked like an earthquake. So when it's shaking, we supposed to grab somebody, put their head under the counter. She would have been all right. <laughs> she would have been cool, bro. I'm just being real. At one point, it looks like the shelves are going to topple onto them both, but thankfully, the store's infrastructure holds out. By the end of the video, the floor is covered with bottles that fell right where the customer would have been mm -mm. if she wasn't rescued was at the right last there. second. Number 6. A YouTuber named Sasha is enjoying her vacation. <laughs> you white girls be so happy when they be vlogging, bro. Every Hey guys, today we're going to get it today. <laughs> Every time I watch one of them on YouTube, bro, they be having me cry. So, they are... They are and this is what I hate with all y'all YouTubers, reactors, and all that type of shit, right? When you recording a video, listen to me, even until you was that want to start doing YouTube, when you record a video, your camera most likely is going to come out with a flip out screen, right? This is what y'all do that is so annoying to me that I just want to slap your page. You know what I'm saying? This is what y'all do. Y'all get the flip out camera, I mean the flip out screen so you can see yourself, right? Y'all record the video the whole time like this, looking at yourself on the screen. Yeah, today we're going to walk our dogs and do wooty woo today. You know Bro, why are you looking at the screen instead of the camera? If you got it that bad and you can't help but look at the screen, fold the screen back into the camera. That way, you don't look dumb to me at least because I'll be clowning the whole video. <laughs> y'all don't even know I know y'all. I'll be clowning the whole video like, why is bro doing this reaction like this? Who is he looking at? Is he, what is, where do you do it? Ah, little way funny. <laughs> Don't do that, bro. Don't do it. Vacation in South Korea when she notices a clown in a dirty outfit and a wrinkled white mask is appearing in a lot he of her shots. He's walking like a girl. He starts. He said appearing in a lot of her shots, huh? She notices a clown in a dirty outfit and a wrinkled white mask is appearing in a lot of her shots. He starts wow. out far away and gets progressively closer until he is practically breathing on her at- Ooh, bro, you kinda spook ooh, ooh, me. You kinda spook me, bro. It's kinda weird. I'm gonna be real with y'all. You're the only one that's dressed like that out there. And he got a suit on under her. What's wrong, Times. bro? He looks creepy. Yeah, he, he does. Look at me? You about to get taken. <laughs> Sasha Didn't they say she was up in the UK? Like joke at first, but when the clown follows her. Oh, mom. Now, now, now the clown up in the mall, bro. He following her on three different occasions. This is what I tell y'all all the time. I don't know if y'all be listening to me. Or y'all let the uh, 
Y'all, y'all let the kush distract y'all on the message I'm trying to bring y'all, bro. Best believe this one, though. Every time I see a video like this, I didn't even got to see the video. Ah, it'll trigger me. We could be talking about basketball. Oh, yeah. And I say what I'm about to say right now. As a female, you're not safe when you go outside, bro. You're not. If you by yourself, any weirdo, I don't care if you got an attitude. I got brothers. They don't even tell that not. Ain't nobody going to do that to me. Yada, 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 yada. Ain't no female stronger than a man, bro. I'm going to be real with you. If he want to take you, he going to do that. If he want to kidnap you, he going to do that. With that being said, if she was with somebody, another dude like Ghost, bro, wouldn't have been if I would have pressed this issue. So the third time I would have seen that, and we out of town, most likely this is going to be my girl. You up here, he, he wouldn't even follow her. Y'all be out there trying to explore and trying to have fun and want to do stuff on your own. You, you a grown woman. You should be able to do stuff on your own, but this world don't care about that. <laughs> So I had the female listen to me. This might sound messed up. But y'all know I'ma cut it straight. I'ma give it to you raw, bro. Stop going places by yourself. It's not safe and you might not make it home. You it's it you might not make it home, bro. It could be with your new boyfriend, your old listen to me. And she abroad. They said she was out there uh, uh, vacationing on her, you know what I'm saying? Into the mall, she realizes that this is a real issue and she needs to lose him fast. What? Because this strange guy, is, he's, he's here and it's not funny. Look. He look at me. She tries hiding, but when that doesn't work. All right, now I'm kind of iffy about this because he just standing right there looking at her like he just knew. Let me show you. Use him fast. Because this strange guy is, he's. She's standing right there. He's standing down there. He just looking up. But how he know that she going. He's here. And it's not funny. Look. He look at me. She tried. And there we go again back That's there. Hiding. Now, this the one that got me right here. If you running this way, how the clown going to predict where you coming from? She about to run. The clown going to already be sitting down. So, how the clown get ahead of you? It's already projecting that you finna run past him, bro. I hope this not cat for viewers. Ding. But when that doesn't work, she calls a passenger service to come pick her up. Just as the man switches from a walk to a run... I guess she doesn't know that the police number in Korea is 112, so she does the next best thing and runs away as the clown gains on her. Her ride pulls up just in time and she You don't want to stop nobody. That mall is crowded and packed. Then you got one dude in the clown suit. STC. I'ma have to go with it, bro. I'ma have to say this video was cap. And she a YouTuber. She filming every little thing like she getting close. She um, try that on the regular people, or right, not the regular people, but the people that really don't edit videos and do YouTube. Cause I'm in the same field as you, bro. And this video looked like it was made to be like this. You know what I'm saying? Them shots was too good. Them shot. He's sitting down. He kept, them shots was too good, bro. And then a the whole Michael Myers thing to where she was all the way up here. She say, "Look, he's looking at me now." So when she panning down, he just standing up like this, like I see you. I'm not believing this video. She manages to escape, even though Sasha didn't call the authorities. Yeah, she did. She still handled the situation well by getting away from this stranger as fast as possible. Number five. When a blue car pulls up and a couple steps out, the gas station clerk notices something is wrong. The woman walks far ahead of the man, almost like he doesn't trust her enough to let her out of his sight, and they immediately. Mm mm. Bo kidnapped her and robbing her. He ain't got the pen, so he making her go up in there and do it. But again, he's a dummy. You walked in the store with your face wide open. <laughs> You're going to jail. <laughs> I promise you that. Immediately go to the ATM to make a large cash withdrawal. At the counter, they continue to stand a wide distance apart, which looks suspicious since friends would be closer. 
The man seems relaxed, but the woman stands straight. Let me tell y'all this. A lot of people that be doing these kidnappings and all that, they be busters, bro. With that being said, if they dumb enough, well, they think they smart at the time. They think you scared and dumb. But to me, this is what I'm going to say. If they dumb enough, take you inside a gas station, take you inside a mall, grocery store, and they're telling you to shut up, don't say nothing, or I'm going to kill you, he's not. As soon as you get up in public, scream to the top of your lungs, he's not going to do nothing. They kidnap you because they're scared of it. He's, 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 he's not a murderer. You know what I'm saying? He's a kidnapper. He's not going to do nothing to you right there. Run, scream, whatever. I see too many cases to where they'd do that and they had a person that they kidnapped walk around the whole store with them, grocery shop, and they do it for years. As soon as you get in public, Gladys Knight. Ah, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Graydon looks very tense. They are just about to leave when the clerk tells the woman to stop. She freezes in the doorway and the clerk puts himself between the two. He can tell the woman is in distress at this point and tells her to go back into the store, which she does. See what I mean? You see exactly what I mean? The clerk stopped this. Females are just so scary, bro. Kids are so scary. All a dude got to tell you is, shut up or I'm old. I'm going to off you, and then I'm going to do your family, and you really believe him. He ain't going to do nothing, bro. He ain't going to do nothing. Mind you, it's something out here that's built like that. But most of these fools just be talking. I've been through life. I've seen it. The clerk look way smaller than him. Why are you walking away like that? You scared? He just Eyes. took your girl. Meanwhile, the man outside looks like he is going to pull something out of his jacket and then drives away instead. As yeah, it I turns know. out, the clerk was correct to stop them. The woman was being held captive and being driven from ATM to ATM in the uh -huh. middle of the night. The clerk was smart to wait until she was out of his reach before confronting the man. You come by back, but I help you, no problem. If he had My waited guy. for police, the two would have been long gone before any help arrived. Number four. When a man enters a gas station and demands money, he finds himself greatly outnumbered by a swarm of angry customers. All it takes is one brave bystander to rush him and the rest follow suit. Ah, they can to smack him down. Smack him down. I think I remember that video. I think I remember that video, but I'm not finna watch it. YouTube channel called Sailing Latitude is boating around the Italian island of Sardinia when a freak lightning storm breaks overnight, forcing them into survival mode. They try to outrun the storm at first, but the winds yeah, are much too storm. strong and soon lightning is breaking directly overhead. Let me tell y'all, um, yeah, I'm in this video right here anyway. But if it is a lightning outside like that, you know what I'm saying? Um, your car is grounded by the rubber. Lightning don't go through that. Anything else, maybe. You on some wood, some metal, whatever. But the rubber, your car is grounded. You should be all right. Let me get at y'all in the next video. Much love to every single one of y'all. Rest in peace, King Nipsey. DJ Ghost.